six miles yesterday on my ride to and from the uh, the school area so that is not a good thing I did apply the version 1.10 firmware uh, to the board when I got home last night I got some people doing stupid things so I applied the firmware and then I plugged it into the charger and let it charge again overnight. So when I uh, took it off the charger this morning, fired up the app, it said I was at 94, 95% battery capacity. It once again did not charge to 100. Although it's better, it's better than 76%, but it only charged at 94, 95, and it showed the voltage of the battery is at 81 something, 81.4, 81.5, somewhere in that neighborhood. So. Um, yeah, I don't really know what to think. Uh, when it when it's um, charging, when I plug it into the charger, it's weird. Like I'll hear like little pops and cracks randomly coming out of these the speakers. And I actually recorded on my phone. Um, let's see if I can get that in in here. All right. You just randomly hear noise coming out of the speakers like that while it's on the charger. You can listen to it. I need to send that to Jason. I don't know if that's uh, normal behavior, but it is a little bit weird, you know? So anyways, I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably try to take the wheel to Dunkin' Donuts tomorrow and see if my range is any better. Um, unfortunately, I suspect I'm, I'm not gonna have what I should. Um, I should probably get at least 35 miles of range, or at least 30 for sure. Uh, with that battery pack, and um, it seems like right now I'm hard-pressed to get 20, so um, we'll see what happens. Not sure, but uh, it's to be continued. So it's funny, this morning, you know, I, I, I was, uh, I got up early, didn't have to get up with an alarm, thanks to running Friday night, but uh, I, had, I wanted to get the grass mowed because the standing water that we had in the property had subsided. It had uh, receded back into the ground. So during wet season, you have to take those opportunities when you get them. So I hopped out. I was on the mower probably about 8.30 in the morning. Mowed the, the front half of the property, which gets mowed every week. And then I, I uh, actually went back to the back half of the property, which gets mowed you know, monthly, every six weeks, something like that. Because that had no standing water in it either. So I mowed that, well, I started to mow it, and then about halfway in, it started to rain, lightly. And then, uh, probably 10 or 15 minutes later, it started to downpour. And, um, you know, I was already wet, <laughs> and I still had grass to mow, so I just stayed out there. You know, I was soaked, I looked like I jumped in the pool. I do have a canopy on my mower. But it was so windy, like I had to sit there and hold it with one arm so it wouldn't get blown off. And it didn't really help me keep that dry. I guess I kept the very top of my head dry, uh, but that's about it because it was kind of windblown rain. But uh, the good news is the grass was completely mowed. Uh, the bad news is, is we once again have standing water. Like the, the property literally started to flood as I was mowing. So that was great, but at least it's done. So as far as chores go, that's that was the, the major chore focus of the weekend. So hopefully the rest of the weekend I can sort of enjoy myself. Maybe. We'll see. So I, I once again have the board in eco mode. I'm hoping by the time I'm done here I, I bump it up to... I'm sorry. I have the board in beginner mode, which uh, limits you to 10 miles an hour. I'm hoping to have the board in eco mode by the end of this, where the top end I think is 15 miles an hour. See if I can handle that, because uh, basic mode beginner mode felt uh, okay in the driveway so let's see how it goes 
Yeah, like this, this is, um, this is top end on beginner mode. You know, even slower than a Mini Pro. It's cool how you can just, you know, just get off the throttle and just let it freewheel. Sure, but I think I, I I think I need to loosen up the trucks a little bit. It's funny I feel myself like leaning forward, <laughs> thinking that's going to accelerate me. But uh, yeah, forward lean does nothing for you on this. This is definitely a good surface to ride on. Nice and smooth. Shifting my weight forward, you know, don't, don't really need to though. Um, yeah, this feels real slow. I think we're gonna switch to eco now. So the way you switch modes is just once it's on, you hit the power button. That's beginner. So now we're this should be eco, and the flashing light means that you have a connection to the board. All right, so here we go. It should give me an additional 50% of. Whoa, okay. Whoa, yeah. Definitely faster. Definitely. Feels good, though. So eco mode is, is uh, I believe, what you would think, where you're, you're maximizing your battery life. 15 mile an hour top speed. Yeah, see, this feels, this feels good. Comfortable. I guess having the trucks this tight, you know, makes it more stable at speed. I guess you're sacrificing just the uh, turning ability. But yeah, this, I'm able to do things uh, loops around the track very easily. And I am not at top speed yet. Let me, all right, let me just max the throttle. Whoa. That feels, that feels faster than 15, man. Let's slow that shit down. I can tell you that I don't think I'm going to be needing much more than eco mode in this thing. Until I get really comfortable on it, that felt plenty fast enough. Just did a very big and sloppy 180 turn. 180, uh, yeah. not good at turning, for sure. Go straight pretty well, and I can do nice, easy arcing stuff. I can't believe this is eco, man. I can only imagine what the, the top mode feels like. It must be like you're riding a freaking rocket. Fast. All right, so I can do uh, laps around the track, no problem. Eco mode's great, man. That's, that's plenty of power for me. It'd be fine for the greenway. Um, yeah, surprisingly strong. I like the way that you can lock the brake on this to make it easier to mount. Release it and then go. It's kind of nice. Um, all right, so I'm gonna head out and just back into the uh, driveways around the parking lot here just to see how I do with uh, more steering. There we go. More steering. Fun. Different. 
Different than an electric unicycle, different than a uh, one wheel, for sure. Definitely fun. Uh, doing this kind of maneuver, just, you know, like gentle turn, following a path, no problem. Still kind of working out the, the differences in controlling my speed with this as opposed to my uh, center of gravity, but it's not that hard. I haven't seen it, seen or heard any lightning lately. I just did a 180 uh, inside turn. About horrible difficulty. It's 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 challenging to figure out like how much I should freewheel on a turn versus accelerate versus apply brake. That's going to take some getting used to. Uh, I would think in most situations it's best just to take your hands off the uh, the controller and just kind of drift through the turn if you can. At least that's kind of what it feels like. How's my foot position look? Yeah, you know, it feels like with this foot position now I'm doing most of the, the steering control with my back foot because it's perpendicular. I can get the most leverage with it. I don't, I don't know if that's normal or not normal. I feel some raindrops hitting me right now. It sure feels faster than 15. I need to put my GPS on. Right, I'm gonna see what a sidewalk ramp feels like, as well as the sidewalk itself. Let's see how doable this is. Right. It's a little bugs, Ugh. swarms of gnats. Come on. Like, I, nothing but gnats hit me in the face right now. Give me a break! What the fuck? I swear to God, I have nothing but gnats in my face right now. Ugh. I don't know what the deal is. Usually it's like a, a small area of gnats. But that was like 100 yards, and it felt like I had nothing but gnats hit me in the face. Disgusting. Let's turn around the other way. Kicktail is nice for just, you know, quick spinning the board around. Makes it a little bit easier, I think. Still got gnats. This is horrible. I mean, they're they're bouncing off my glasses. They're bouncing off my helmet. Keeping my mouth shut. These ramps are a challenge because they slow you down dramatically. You get those little yellow bumpy things and it just like burns your speed off. I have no idea what's going on. Why, why this entire sidewalk is just one big gnat swarm? It's freaking horrible. I gotta get off the sidewalk. This is horrible. Did I mention that? Yeah, it's, it's better back here in the parking lot. I don't know what's going on. Why all those gnats are along that roadway? That was incredible. I don't think I've ever had a sustained gnat patch like that. That was terrible. It is starting to rain more though. And I am a little concerned about uh, uh, traction on this very smooth asphalt that they have here. Let's see how the speed bump goes. It's bumpy. It's bearable. kind of try to shift my weight to my back leg uh, when I'm hitting something like that. Like I said during my unboxing, I, I've never owned an electric skateboard, so I have no frame of reference. 
but even so, um, this thing seems very, very nice to me. $400? Seems very nice. You know, even without me knowing what I'm doing, uh, you know, I feel relatively in control, stable, speed is there, and I'm in an eco mode. So yeah, it's nothing bad to say about the Meepo yet. The road's getting wet though. I need to pack it in. We don't want to push it. We don't want to fall. I'm not quite sure of the water resistance of this thing. So, um, yeah. One loop here and then uh, I'll call it quits. Just like every other device that um, I've learned in the past couple years, uh, looking where you want to go helps with an electric skateboard just like it does with an EUC, just like it does with a one wheel. Don't be looking at your feet. Nice. Very nice. No idea how far I was riding, but um, still showing full battery. All right, well, if it hadn't started to rain, I would still be out there for sure. I am hoping to um, get a lot of riding in tomorrow. Like I said, most of my chores are done, so yeah, I'm hoping to uh, really mess around with this tomorrow and uh, as well as get some distance on the 18 ounce to see if I can definitively. Uh, decide if the battery does have or have not a problem. Right now I am still very strongly in the camp that it does have a problem and something's going to be done about it. So, But maybe not. It'd be great if it didn't. So that's it. If you found this video interesting, please give it a big thumbs up. If this is your first time visiting the channel, please consider subscribing and feel free to leave your comments, suggestions, ideas, and thoughts below. I read them all. That's all I got for you for now. Until next time, stop the moon. Meepo!